and I was go home, I feel broken, feel like, you know, there is nothing, life look meaningless for me. Imagine you live in another country without your family, your sister, your mom, your dad. You know, it's devastating. My name is Pastor Toba Colley, and I got saved from a church in Freetown, specifically the Kabbalah Church, in 2000, 1992, rather. And it was the, during the year of the war, when the war was going on and it was a radical salvation. God ready to deliver me because I was planning to join the, uh, S, the youth um, revolution to go fight back in my country. But God delivered me from that mess of idea and I gave my life to Jesus, stayed in church, and it was good that I made that decision to stay in church. Got married to my beautiful wife and to do have three kids and now we transition to the U.S. And, and after so many years in the U.S., uh, our, our pastor launched her to uh, North Carolina. And presently we are in North Carolina, uh, 6020 Rock Quarry Road. And we have a service there, we see God moving. And we want to come and do the same thing that we used to do in Africa, reach people for Jesus. It doesn't matter the race, the color but Jesus love everybody. So we are, we are at this stage, we are at the location, 6020 Rock Quarry Road, and God is moving, touching people's lives. Uh, we just started the church there over one and a half years ago, and we see over 17 people are turning up and more people are visiting, checking it out. So if you are, if you, if you need a miracle, you want to see the hand of God move, stretching out your marriages, your homes, your kids' lives, and all these programs will fail you, but the Word of God will not fail you. I was a man that was an orphan, and I know what it means to be down there at rock bottom, without family, without community around you, without support. My support system, everything was broken. But God stepped in uh, in Sibelin for me when I was an orphan in that nation, and the church was a huge community for me. It was a huge people that supported me, uh, built me up, helped me that I can do it. And today I'm preaching the gospel with my wife and family as a man of God. And I got all that from because of, through the word of God. And that helped me to be who I am today. And I just want to encourage you to come out that the word of God has so much for your life. You don't need to sit out there and waste your time. And God can help you, God can build you up.